Hey everybody, this is a quick video to show narrators that are working with ACX how I use Audacity to edit my narrations. There are plenty of other software packages out there, but I think Audacity is pretty much the easiest one to learn. And there are a few tools I want to share in this video that make it a whole lot easier to do your narrations and have made my life a whole lot easier. For this demonstration, I just grabbed a book off of my bookshelf. This happens to be The Art of Happiness by the Dalai Lama and Howard C. Cutler. And as you can see here in my timeline, I've recorded about just uh, about 40 seconds from the book just for demonstration purposes. This is a completely raw recording. So let's go ahead and just first take a listen to the recording. And you'll notice right here there's some... Silence, we'll talk about that in a minute. Chapter 14, Dealing with Anxiety and Building Self-Esteem. It is estimated that in the course of a lifetime, at least one in four Americans will suffer from a debilitating degree of anxiety or worry, severe enough to meet the criteria for the medical, for the medical diagnosis of an anxiety disorder. But even those who never suffer from a pathological or disabling state of anxiety will at one time or another experience excessive levels of worry and anxiety that serve no useful purpose and do nothing but undermine their happiness and interfere with their ability to accomplish their goals. Okay, so that's just the pure raw recording straight off my microphone. And the first step that I usually do is I go in and I edit any areas that I made a mistake. Now, you'll see here in this area right here, you see this red line. And if you were listening to it, you, you probably heard that I snapped at that point. So whenever I'm reading and if I make a mistake, I, I snap my fingers close to the microphone. And it produces this red line because if we go up into the Audacity menu and we select View, I've put down here a little check mark next to Show Clipping. And what this does is if your audio is clipping at all, it'll give you a little red line. And it's useful in this case because I want it to clip whenever I'm, uh, whenever I'm uh, snapping at the microphone because I want it very visually easy to see. So if, if quickly, if I show you, if I turn this off, you'll notice that that red line will go away. Now you can still see, obviously, that the uh, waveform still obviously clips. But it, visually, it makes it a little bit easier to see if we turn the clipping on. So all I'm going to do here uh, is I'm going to zoom. I'm going to select this area here. And I'm going to zoom in to just that selected area. And on this, in this case, what you're going to do is you're going to push, if you're on a Mac, you push uh, Command-E. Or uh, on a PC, I guess it would be Control-E. And we're just going to zoom in. And if I listen to this right here, for the medical diagnosis. All right, so we're going to start with for the medical. For the medical. And I'm just going to go ahead and highlight this area that I don't need and just click the backspace or the delete key and just listen. Meet the criteria for the medical diagnosis of an anxiety disorder. Okay, great. Now again, if I want to see the whole timeline, I can hit my uh, command key and F or control key and F and now I can go back and I can see my whole timeline here. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure uh, one of the things that people run into is being able to meet the ACX requirements. Now, there are a few things, first of all, that you must have in place in order to meet them. Uh, you're going to need a, a well-treated room. Uh, you're going to need a, a, a decent microphone that is not a USB microphone. Uh, you're going to need those to meet it. But if we look over here on this on the ACX, on the audacityteam.org, there is a, a, a page here called Audiobook Mastering. And what they've done here is they've put together a step-by-step -step process to make sure that you are meeting the ACX requirements. And as you notice here, they also have a, a little uh, plug-in called ACX Check that will make, that'll let you know whether or not you're meeting the requirements. Now, here's the process right here. And it's basically three steps that you would use uh, in your effects menu. First, you're going to do an equalization, as you can see here. Then you're going to do RMS normalization and then a limiter. Now, it tells you the exact settings that you want for each of these. But what I've done and what many people do is in ACX, I've set up a chain. And well, first, I want to make sure I select all here. And I'm going to go up to file and chains. Now, you can edit your chains and that's how you're going to create it. When you go to edit chains, you're going to do 
add a chain and you can see up here I have one uh, listed as ACX and it gives me my steps. It's equalization, norm, RMS normalize and limiter. And I've and so whenever I and I've saved that so now whenever I run that chain it's going to automatically apply each of those effects to my uh, to my audio here. So I'm going to go apply chain. I'm going to select here ACX and apply to current project and you're going to see it's going to go through the steps here. Now the other thing that we have is that ACX if we look here the ACX check and up here is the link and I'll have a link to this in the description so you can just click on that and go right to this uh, this ACX check. Now a little bit confusing here is this one is not going to be under the effects menu but it's going to be under analyze. So we're going to go into analyze and you're going to see ACX check here click on ACX check and it's going to run through and it's going to make sure we meet all of these ACX uh, requirements. So for the peak level, the RMS level, the noise floor, all of that. And you can see down here, clip meets ACX requirements. So it means we're good. Now, the next thing that I want to go through and do is I want to go through and take out uh, any breaths or mouth noises. Now, in particular, I have a problem with this. I uh, I haven't, I'm fairly new still to, to audiobook narration, and I haven't really uh, gotten down how to breathe right, and I feel like I make a lot of mouth noises. So when we need to do this, let's go ahead and zoom in on a part here somewhere, uh, and we can find some. So let's see. Uh, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to hear this on YouTube, but chapter four. Whenever you're listening to this in your headphones, and it, whenever you're editing your audiobooks, your narrations, you should definitely listen in headphones. Uh, but whenever you listen in headphones, you're going to be able to hear any kind of breaths or mouth noises. Chapter 14. Dealing with Anxiety and Building Self-Esteem It is estimated that in the course of a lifetime, at least one in four Americans will suffer. Now, let's go back to right here. Lifetime. At least now, in this part right there, it might, again, it might be hard for you to hear. But at this point, I can hear myself breathe in. I Just a little... <sighs> Right, very, very subtle. Now, in order to fix that, people will do a lot of things. One thing some people will do is they'll go up here and they'll click silence audio, right? And if I, I'm going to try that, boom. And then if I listen back, course of a lifetime, at least one in four. Now, sounds pro sounds pretty good. The problem is that, that makes the audio completely silent. We don't want that because it's going to sound, uh, it's going to really sound cut up if you do it that way. So I'm going to uh, command Z to undo that. Now the other thing that we could do is we recorded all of this sound at the beginning, just some room noise, right? Just me being quiet and just uh, recording the sound of the room. Now what we could do is we could just take some of this. So from about two seconds to four seconds there, it's pretty quiet. I could see over here where I start to make some mouth noises or other noises. So we can just click, uh, you know, we could just copy that and we can just scroll back down our timeline. Let's go down here and I could highlight this and just paste that in there. Problem is, as you see, that makes this giant gap in there. Now you could, of course, just, yeah, you know, try to delete that down to where you want it to be. But there's a tool that's going to make this really useful for you. So let's just undo that again. And the tool that you want to get, and this is one of the most useful tools you can get, I think, for uh, Audacity and for audiobook narrations, is punch, copy, paste. Now what this is going to do is you can you can select an area of audio, particularly an area of room noise, and then when you paste it, it's only going to paste into the selected area that you have. So if you highlight, if you copy two seconds of, of room noise, two seconds of audio, but you only need one second, when you highlight that one second and you paste it, it's only going to paste over the one second. Uh, again, I'll leave this link in there, and if you... It gives a great description on how to use this. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of this, you'll see the two downloads. There are actually two things that you need to download here. Uh, make sure you get the current version. Uh, two things that you want to download, the punch copy and the punch paste. Uh, and then you'll install them. I'm not going to go into how to install them. If you need to know, just Google install uh, Audacity Effects, and that'll get it for you. But what this is going to do is I'm going to go back over here to my, uh, to my room noise. And there's, let, let's find to make sure it's really clean. All right, for about three seconds, from about right here, okay, this, this is pretty clean audio. 
And I'm going to go up to my effects and all the way down here, we're going to have punch, copy, paste. And we're going to just click that. And this is going to come up with a dialog box. Now, in this case, you want to make sure you put replace uh, because if you don't put replace and it's going to, if it's on safe, then you won't be able to replace what's already on the clipboard. So you want to just go to copy, replace. Uh, the rest of these settings you can pretty much leave as is and then click OK. So now it tells me I've copied 1.395 seconds of audio. Now what we're going to do is right here you can kind of see there's some audio. Now this is not that important because we're going to probably delete that anyway. But if we listen, again I'm not sure how much you can hear that, but that's me making a lot of mouth noises, getting ready to speak. So if I just highlight that, the parts that I want to go, and I go back up here to Effects, and right under Punch, Copy, Copy, Paste is Punch, Paste. And I click that, and boom. Now it's pasted that in, and it's just pasted in the area that I selected. Now if you, if you look on the menu up here, you'll notice that there is a little uh, keyboard shortcut. This keyboard shortcut is not not by default. Uh, I actually set this up myself. If you go into Audacity and Preferences and into Keyboard, you can, if you scroll down here somewhere, I'm not sure where, but somewhere in here under your Effects, you're going to find your, yeah, here's your Effects menu. And yeah, here's Punch Paste. I went ahead and set up Shift Command V uh, just because it's, I find it, uh, you know, bothersome when I'm going through the audio and constantly having to go up here and click the menu. So now I'm just able to just do it with a keyboard shortcut. So the one thing you definitely want to do is right here before this dial, right here before this starts, we're going to just, and I'm going to do this with the keyboard shortcuts, just make sure that that's all cleaned up. Chapter 14, Dealing with Anxiety and Building Self-Esteem. It is estimated that in the course of a lifetime, now we're going to go back to this spot here uh, where, let's, let's get a little bit closer here first. We're going to go back to the spot where we heard a little breath. Lifetime. At least. And you, you can even, if you look closely here, you can see the, the breath on there. So I'm going to just highlight that, Command, Shift, V, and boom. Lifetime. At least one in four Americans will suffer from a debilitating degree of anxiety or worry. So and there's another big breath right there. So I'm just going to go through that and paste. Worry. Severe enough to meet the criteria for the... Again, there's some breaths in there, so we're going to go through and just shift command V, because now once you've got that on the clipboard, you can just paste that room noise into anywhere you want. Hey, you probably don't want to too overdo it, you know, if there's some breaths in the middle of words and things like that. You don't want to make it sound unnatural, but whenever you have those obvious breaths or obvious mouth yeah. noise, you want to... For the medical it. diagnosis of an anxiety disorder. But even though... Now here, if I scroll back here... Uh, I can see a little line here. I can't quite, I can't even hear that with my headphones on, but just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead. But even those who never suffer from a pathological or disabling state of anxiety will... Again, another breath right there. I'm going to just highlight it and shift command V. Will at one time or another... Ex another big breath, and you can see this one right here. And we're going to just do that. At one time or another experience excessive levels of worry and anxiety that's okay and there we can hear another breath so get rid of that that serve no useful purpose <gasps> you can hear that breath right there you can hear it and you can see it a lot of times you can see it here in the breaks sometimes you can't but you see that what it went from there's a little bit of a waviness in the the wave waveform there and it's just pretty much flat now and do nothing but undermine their happiness and in another one all right, and, we're almost done. and interfere with their ability to accomplish their goals. Okay, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at the whole thing here. So we've gone ahead and we've taken out that uh, those those breaths. I'm going to go ahead and delete. There's a little bit of sound here at the end. I think that's probably just where I was stopping the recording. Now, what I also like to do, because we need a little bit of, of room noise at the beginning and the ending. So I'll go here to the beginning. And we're going to zoom in there. And we're, let's zoom out just a little bit so I can see the seconds a little better. So it looks like we're starting at about eight seconds, right? Uh, a little bit after eight seconds is where we start. 
So I like to leave about two seconds, one to two seconds here. So I'm going to just go to 60 and we are six seconds here. Actually, let's go six seconds to 80 seconds. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just do a regular copy paste. So I'm going to copy this here onto my clipboard and then I'm going to just delete all of that because I don't need any of that anymore. And we're just going to delete and then I'm going to go to the end by kicking, clicking end on my keyboard. And actually before I do that, I'm going to just delete this all the way to the end of where I was recording and I'm going to just paste that clean room noise onto the end. So now I have room noise on the end and on the beginning. Ability to accomplish their goals. All right. So if we take a look, now we're all done. We've got it pretty much all set up. I, I might still uh, go through here and just adjust for timing and whatnot. But again, check the description below. You'll be able to see these links to, you're going to want to make sure you're meeting the ACX requirements. And this punch copy paste is very, very useful for making sure you're removing any breaths or mouth noises. All right, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.